Sunday night football, New York Jets, Pittsburgh Steelers. Got your pick coming your way. 8.20 Eastern time, national televised game. We get the Jets, minus one, minus one and a hook is available. 39 or 38 and a half being the total, depending where you're shopping here. Sunday night football, the Jets off three tight losses, including last week's Monday night football loss, 23 to 20 to the Bills. Before that, they lost to the Vikings and then a 10-9 to game against the uh, Denver Broncos. Looking at the Pittsburgh side, 4-2 and two coming in, both straight up and against the spread. They rebounded last week off of two straight losses, beating the Raiders 32-13. to Before that, they lost to the Cowboys and the Colts. Looks like the Steelers likely to go with uh, Russell Wilson here at the quarterback position, so we'll see what we get. We've seen some positives in the past in, in Wilson's career. But at the same time, there might be a little rust on that uh, right arm. We'll see what happens. A good learning game for the Steelers offense. The thing here is I think there's question marks with Russell Wilson. And you combine that with the Pittsburgh Steelers defense only letting up more than 20 points in one game this season. They have played really good defensive ball. They've allowed under 300 yards a game on average. It kind of is in line with the Jets defense. The Jets defense is near there is near the top of the NFL ranks in terms of letting up under 275 yards per game. Looking at the Jets side of thing offensively, Devontae Adams, you know, over in the trade, reunited with Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback wide receiver combo there. Hey, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if some some betters out there like that combo. I just. I'm one of the sports betters that I want to see it on the field first. You know, you kind of get that new combination. Um, how are they in tune with each other? I'm likely to, you know, maybe in the future look to bet on the on the Jets and that offensive, uh, you know, the offensive quarterback wide receiver reuniting. And the thing is, right out the gate, I, I kind of pumped the brakes on that. Plus, guys, I'm, I'm actually going after the total on this. I think sidewise, I would go with the Jets. Um, I, I think the Jets might get it, but even more so for the video, we're going with the total guys, the Jets 13 and 21 road under run. That's 38% over. So a huge under trend here since 2020, when the Jets step on the road, we talked about the defensive, the defensive statistics here, the yardage given up. Plus it's about the trenches guys. You look at this Jets side, the offensive line has given up 11 sacks the last three games, and then you flip the script on the defensive front, this Jets defensive line has 20 sacks on the season. I think they get after Russell Wilson. I think both offenses struggle. I mean, we get 39 as a total widely available right now. I don't think we get to 40 points here, guys. We'll add on the fact that trend is your friend in sports betting and the trend on Sunday night football, six straight unders out the gate. I think after Sunday night football is all said and done, I think it's seven straight Sunday night football uh, to the under here, guys. So we're going under 39 Jets and Steelers. Guys, smash that like button. Help me out. It helps out the algorithm. Comment below. Let me know if you agree. If you disagree, all is welcome. What your NFL picks are for this weekend. Also, if you're interested in premium plays, check them out. Drew Martin, experts page, wagertalk.com. On a money, 8-0, 100% this week, heading into the weekend. So we got college football. We got NFL up and available. We got a 5% max limit. That's the highest rated play allowed on Monday night football. So you're going to want to check that out, guys. And, of course, the extended packages. If you buy next season, next year, you get the rest of this year free. So check that out. Number one ranked football totals handicapper last four years, Drew Martin. WagerTalk.com, riding that eight and zero streak. Short term, long term. Hey, check it out, guys. All access pass is the way to go. You can get seven day, three day, thirty day, and then the probably the best deal there. By next next year, you get the rest of this year free. So eight and zero heading into the weekend, one hundred percent. And we are on the Jets and the Steelers under the total. We've got the five percent max limit coming to you for Monday Night Football. Let's get this Sunday Night Football. Ticket cashed. Jets, Steelers under the total. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Cash those tickets.